limited beings. We have no ceiling. The capabilities and the talents and the gifts and the power that is within every single individual that is on the planet is unlimited. Key uh, points, right? One of the key words is acceptance. So. Um, I would like us to share some uh, maybe practices that you consider healthy in terms of accepting who you are and your body. Uh, so, so these are some that we, we found uh, in our research, for example, talking about what you feel with other people that might share these concerns. Also making a pact, making a priority to treat your body with respect. Uh, uh, avoid or address negative talk. We all know it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, Nidhi, you've had to open up for quite a while, so um, would you like to share what, what you wanted to, to share? Um, yeah, <laughs> I can share. Um, so Good morning, Cheryl. I'm off to the gym. Do I want to go to the gym? No. <laughs> But I'm off to the gym. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. It's so gloomy today. You see that? It's so gloomy, but it's okay. I guess I slept with my freaking AC on and my voice right now. I'm like, ugh. Ugh. But yeah. Anyway, off to the gym. <laughs> Off to the gym, off to the gym, yeah, off to the gym, off to the gym, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, go follow me on Instagram, it's Lydia underscore MSM, Ugh. Oh, no, how are you? Yo. Yo. Ah, do I Gym. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, gotta look snatched, honey. Do I? <laughs> you know what? I'm always talking to. I'm always talking to the older people here, but child, talking, talking. <laughs> Can barely get a word out. Are you not embarrassed? Ooh, uh. One thing I'll tell you for free is that I didn't want to come to the gym, but I had a good time, child. <sighs> I had no intentions of vlogging because I feel like do you always want to see me in the gym? I don't think so. But anyway, had a good time of everyone. Had a good time of everyone looking snatched at me. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. I I'll see you guys outside. Good morning. Over word. <laughs> Don't worry guys, we'll be seeing my face soon. But anyway, I was about to pack my shoes away. Um, they got delivered earlier this week. Well, I actually bought these from H&M. Whatever. Oh, and look at my cute sushi socks. Tell me you like sushi without telling me you like sushi. I wear it on my feet. <laughs> anyway um, I was about to pack my shoes away and uh, decided to show you the shoes 
that I got for summer and whatever. Okay, so let's start with the first one. As you can see, is this what she in looks like? Whatever, I don't know. I got them off Taobao, so it really doesn't matter. Um, with this she, <laughs> with this specific pair, I honestly didn't want to buy them because I was like, this is um, the shoe of the nation. I feel like I've seen so many people wearing them, and I know it probably sounds shallow, but I don't like wearing stuff that other people wear. Mm. That's just me. So anyway, I love these shoes and i got them obviously i think this is like a um, Bottega. you know the whole strappy heel that Bottega has with the square toe but i just love these shoes they are so comfortable the heel um i think this is like a nine inch heel i'm not sure all right so anyway what was i saying I had to delete some stuff because my SD card was full but anyway um, I personally liked the shoe because obviously I can carry a lot of my bags while wearing these shoes I have a pink bag green blue white I actually have all the colors that I hear except for yellow um, so yeah anyway that's the faux tega snake print multicolored heel that I got um, I don't know if this is she in or whatever but i ordered them on taobao and believe it or not these shoes were actually 25 quite <laughs> i found this supplier let me show you the other shoes that i got i got these for 25 quite and i think i watched someone's vlog back home and they were doing an un unboxing yashi in or i don't know some other store and they were talking about some they paid about 500 for the shoes and i'm like the joys of being in china darling um i paid 25 quite for these obviously i thought the quality would be crappy but clearly i'm quite impressed i'll show you the other shoe that i bought i think it was also 25 quite and i was like uh, this is probably going to be crap but it wasn't so this is the first pair 25 quite and i love it the heel is steady it's just a cute shoe i like it so that's the first one and this is the second one i've always wanted a pair of white heels and something a bit strappy and that's exactly what i ordered it's a square heel which is super comfortable and the strap is so long it's one of those like you crisscross it across your legs or around your legs rather and it's not all the way up to your thighs or anything like that but it's still cute i like the shoe um, I love the heel. I love the I think this is also seven inch heel or a nine inch heel. I can't remember But yeah, also has a square toe And they're just cute So these are the two heels that I got these were also 25 quai so you can imagine I only paid 50 quai for both pairs of shoes we love to see it i bet you if i saw these on an instagram boutique they would be saying like 900 rands or whatever <laughs> but again the joys of being in china a lot of my friends have been asking like why don't you go into the whole boutique business or whatever i would but honestly i don't think it would be a lucrative business for me hence i have not even hinted at starting a business like that but anyway, I got these shoes from H&M on sale for 70 quai. I've wanted these shoes for over the past year and they were just not going on sale and I was just not going to pay. I think the original price was like 350 or whatever. I feel like for just the way they look, they look cheap. So I wouldn't pay 350. I think the whole patent material cheapens the shoe. So I was like, hell no, I'm not going to pay 350. I think it was 350 or 400 somewhere there. So anyway, I got them on sale, 70 bucks, and of course, it's worth the price. And yeah, I love the sole. I love the fit. They're so chunky. I know I'm definitely not going to wear them winter style. I'm going to rock them now. In summer, they're pretty lightweight, so it's not like I'm going to be sweating or anything like that. Um, I've already tried them on with shorts and a blazer look that I'll be rocking today, if I still feel like it. Or even a dress look with this, you know, just going for a rock star, cosgilla rock star. <laughs> Type of look, and I just love them. 
I love them so yeah these are the shoes I wanted to show you but let me show you the other shoes that I'm telling you about um, that I got for 25 kwai 25 for 30 somewhere there but they were under 50 kwai okay so this is the other heel that I'm telling you about that I got for like 25 kwai or 30 kwai somewhere there obviously when I ordered these I was like they were gonna be crappy and then I got them I was like what do you mean um, as you can see it has this whole tassel type of effect on the strap and as you can see it's quite long so i also wrap it around my leg these are so cute if you watched one of my styling videos i think i was styling white tops this was one of the last looks if i still have the pictures i'll put it up on the screen and yeah this is the look that i actually shot last because i just love these shoes they are so cute dramatic just lydia you know so yeah beautiful three pairs of shoes all under a hundred amazing <sighs> but yeah anyway it's a monday it's about 10 o'clock in the morning just woke up i'll be getting ready i don't know what i really want to do today but i want to leave my apartment i don't want to be indoors so yeah and i think i might just do my press on nails before i leave so there's also that um i removed my press on nails because i felt like my nail bed was just in shambles and i wanted it to recover a bit and i think it looks better right now um when i do my nails i actually don't push back my cuticles i know some people do that and i think that's one of the reasons why i stopped going to the nail bar because i mean if you do that over a long period of time your cuticles just turn black and i don't like that it just it looks weird so yeah anyway when i do my own nails i don't push my cuticles back i just file my nail down a bit use a buffer and then i just apply my personal nails and that's what works for me that's what works for me so yeah anyway let me get my day started sweetie good morning is it still morning no i mean yeah <laughs> it's 11 48 So this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't like my eyebrows. Can you look and tell me which one is off? This is off, right? <gasps> I don't I don't know what's I think this one is off. I don't know. This looks okay. I think this one is off. <laughs> this is the final look darling okay this is the final look so this is my outfit i know you can see it i'll probably insert a picture because i'm about to go out right on time three minutes past one and i'm just gonna carry my bag from zara this is the look that i'm going for today and i'll see you guys in the cab oh, whatever i feel so cute i feel so pretty <laughs> i'll see you guys outside
that is so cute. This is what I'm here for uh, garlic prawns. Okay, where are the cocktails? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Yum. Where the photographers 